When it comes to modern extravagance and wealth, one immediately thinks of the United States, the land of harmony and the American national flag. It is the world's number one superpower in terms of economic, military, and political power. Therefore, the President of the United States always holds the most powerful leadership position in the world. If you're curious about these privileges, don't leave the screen because in today's video, I will take you to discover that in addition to being the head of the world's largest economy, the US President also enjoys special privileges. How lavish is the right? Let's go! However, the true prestige of the Commander-in-Chief of the world's most modern and sophisticated military forces is undoubtedly exceptional. The privileges reserved for the President of the United States must be extremely luxurious and dazzling, enjoying a six-figure salary along with annual allowances while residing in the luxurious White House, with 24-7 staff assistants utilizing the safest and most prestigious means. Plus, countless other interesting privileges, are just the most prominent parts of the services or conveniences that the President of the United States enjoys. Although the history of the nation's founding is still very young compared to other powers in the world, with the American dream and strong belief, and the protective power of the Almighty, the great United States, with a founding history of just over 200 years, has risen to become the world's number one economic and military power. The American dream and the United States are always the dream and preferred destination for most people worldwide. Almost the highest quality products and the most brilliant intelligence are concentrated in America. In such a developed superpower, surely the privileges of the President of the United States must be extremely impressive. Briefly touching on the power of the President of the United States, who holds supreme leadership in the military, the President has the authority to issue orders, declare states of emergency, war, and martial law. Additionally, the President of the United States also has the privilege of classifying information exclusively for the President and the Executive Branch, aiding in the execution of duties, and this privilege is protected from control by legislative, judicial systems, or any individual organization. However, this special privilege is somewhat limited when the Supreme Court issued some regulations restricting executive privileges in 1974. As the leader of a superpower and holding such supreme power, the safety and life of the president always have to be paramount, it's no wonder that all the comforts and means of transportation for the president must always be equipped with the most secure, safest, and most prestigious items. The salary of $400,000 a year, along with allowances introduced in 2001 by the US Congress, doubled the president's salary from $200,000 to $400,000, with an additional spending allowance of $50,000 per year. Thus, it is estimated that each president during their term will receive at least $450,000 a year. In a four-year term, a US president will receive about $2 million in salary alone, not counting other allowances. Previous and current presidents, including Joe Biden, have received this salary. However, for billionaire President Donald Trump, this figure is quite modest compared to his annual income at the time of becoming president. Trump owned an estimated $3.1 billion in assets upon becoming president, making him the only American billionaire to refuse a salary, instead accepting just $1 a year, symbolically. Apart from the salary as mentioned above, the privileges of the President of the United States extend even after leaving the White House. After leaving office, Presidents are also provided with an annual expense account of $50,000 for travel expenses, tax-free, $100,000 for entertainment, and $19,000 for post-presidency fund. Former Presidents also receive an annual pension. According to 2016 statistics, former President Jimmy Carter received an annual pension of $205,700, and in 2017, former President Obama received $207,800. The White House, the luxurious residence of the President, or the White House, as commonly known to the Vietnamese, is the official residence and workplace of successive U.S. presidents during their terms. This architecture can be considered one of the most iconic buildings in the world, where important government regulations of the United States are often made. 
The White House is built on a sprawling 7-hectare estate at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, right in the heart of the capital, Washington, D.C., a prosperous area known as the Historic District. This historic building was constructed after the United States Congress decided to establish the District of Columbia and chose Washington as the capital of the United States on July 16, 1790. Construction of the White House began in 1792, however, it wasn't until eight years later that the building was completed. The total investment at that time was $232,371, equivalent to $2.4 million if calculated by today's value. The White House has six floors with a total of 132 rooms, including 16 family living rooms and 35 bathrooms. According to the official website of the White House, the interior of this building is equipped with 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, 412 doors, and 147 windows. Every four to six years, the White House undergoes repainting, each time costing around $2,000. This is the White House office from the Tater Russenven era. This area includes the Oval Office, also known as the Oval Room, the Situation Room, the Interior Room, Press Briefing Rooms, and some other functional rooms. The Oval Office is the most notable room in the White House, as it is also the main working office of the Commander-in-Chief. Beginning with President William Howard in 1909, the room is oval-shaped and has a sturdy oak desk called the Resolute Desk. U.S. presidents also have the right to customize the furniture in their office according to their personal preferences, such as choosing new furniture, new curtains, or hanging new pictures. The Situation Room of the White House is officially called the John F. Kennedy Conference Room, located in the basement of the West Wing. This place is primarily used by U.S. leaders to coordinate important emergency events of the nation. The Cabinet Room is where the President meets with members of his cabinet. The Rossi Benz room is where the Taras office is also a two-story area. This is where the workspace for the First Lady and her staff is located. The designer's area has an entrance with a canopy for guests during major events, the largest room in the White House is the East Room. This room, designed by architect James, hosts large meetings and is located on the second floor of the White House. It is also the residence and activities area of the U.S. President's family during their term, as well as a place to welcome and entertain guests of the President's family. If a President wants to change the atmosphere, they can go to a suburban location to work. Camp David, located in the Mowell Mountain Park, Virginia, is entitled to use this suburban area, which is fully equipped with facilities including a gym, swimming pool, and a sewing house. This has been the resort for presidents since the 1930s. In addition, the U.S. president will have the right to use a 60,000-square-foot guest house to host external guests. The Blar House is located opposite the White House and is often where visiting heads of state and other dignitaries are welcomed when visiting the United States. The house consists of four townhouses with 120 rooms. Each president is allocated $100,000 per term to redecorate the building according to their desires to make it feel as comfortable as home. According to NBC News, during his term, President Trump spent an additional $1.75 million to renovate the White House. He also purchased new furniture and redecorated the grounds. Previously, President Obama also spent $1.5 million to remodel this luxurious residence, served by top chefs worldwide. Along with hundreds of White House staff, an enticing privilege of becoming the President of the United States is being able to eat all the delicious dishes prepared by the country's top chefs. Mrs. Christella Comfort has been the executive chef of the White House for 15 years, along with Mrs. Susan Morrison, responsible for desserts, daily orders for the President as well as catering events take place here. Not to mention, the White House staff consists of about 100 people, including housekeepers, chefs, plumbers, flower arrangers, and chief stewards. The cost for this team amounts to $4 million per year. Within this 7-hectare estate, there is also a vegetable and fruit garden, with produce from the garden frequently appearing on the president. As for accommodation and work facilities, transportation is also carefully arranged. 
The president is transported by the Superbus, Grown Force, a private helicopter, along with a super-armored steel-clad limousine. The transportation of the President of the United States is always a top priority, emphasizing safety, convenience, and speed. Perhaps the most famous among the specialized means of transport for the President of the United States is the Air Force One aircraft, you're invited to review the video about the most luxurious private aircraft in the world on the Upper Class Channel. We've previously discussed the extravagant operating costs, which are about $200,000 per hour. We've also dedicated a separate video to the early education specifically designed for the President of the United States. You can review it on the channel. Apart from these renowned and prominent names, since 2011, the list of transportation means for the President of the United States has included another addition, a bus nicknamed, Round, built by leading Canadian engineers, the CX Code is a bulletproof bus nearly 14 meters long, similar to Cadillac 1, also painted black and bearing the insignia of the President of the United States. It does not appear frequently in public like other means of transportation. This was an addition to President Obama's transportation options for domestic trips in the United States since 2011. Although it was built by Canadian engineers, the interior of this bus was designed by Hemmings' brother Scoot, located in Tennessee, USA, providing premium and luxurious products. The U.S. Secret Service purchased, grown, buses each priced at the 2011 rate. Similar to the legendary armored steel-clad Beast bus, it facilitates the President's movement as smoothly as possible. He can step down from Air Force One and immediately proceed. Furthermore, it provides better shielding than the Cadillac One, it uses run-flat tires that can continue to run after the tires are punctured, and the entire bus is bulletproof, high-intensity bulletproof glass, ground the first one, has a firefighting system, and oxygen masks ready to provide oxygen in case of a chemical attack. Additionally, there is a blood reserve along with the president and family. These equipments are also on the president's vehicles. Phones, TVs, radios, and the internet are indispensable tools on the president's vehicles. The entire technical specifications of the vehicle are only known by the U.S. Secret Service. Even high-ranking officials have not seen them compared to the Cadillac one. This specialized bus has advantages in space and convenience. The equipment on the vehicle will also be superior. The president can comfortably work, travel, or relax with more spacious surroundings. During long journeys, since all windows of the grown force, the president can wave to people standing on both sides of the road. It is similar to Cadillac 1, with only a few drivers chosen to sit behind the wheel. All drivers are Secret Service employees trained in special skills to serve and protect the head of the United States. They are supported by a 24-7 security and maximum medical care team. A lifelong privilege of U.S. presidents is strict protection from the moment they take office until their lifetime. Their children are protected until the age of 16. In 2017, according to the Department of Homeland Security, the cost for protecting the president was $1.9 billion. The president is protected everywhere, so the Secret Service is always nearby to protect the president during foreign trips. The president is always accompanied by numerous Secret Service personnel, known as the USS, including the Elite Close Protection Team PPPD, dot. There is also a team of Super Secret Service equipped with heavy weapons ready to fire, control, and extinguish any threats in the shortest time. This elite force is called the Counterattack Team CIAT, and plays a crucial role in the president's security detail. Members of CIAT are easily recognizable as they always carry a large rifle or military backpacks containing various modern weapons. Unlike regular agents who wear vests and carry handguns, CIAT members always wear black combat uniforms and carry very intimidating gear in the convoy. CIAT is assigned a black van behind the president's beast. In addition to the standard requirements from USSS, CIAT has its own extremely strict recruitment criteria. Until now, no one, not even the world's best athletes, has been directly recruited into SIAT's training program. 
to become a CIAT agent. Candidates must have many years of experience in intelligence agencies. After a rigorous selection process, accepted candidates undergo one week of preparation and six weeks of intense training, which many, even seasoned agents, cannot endure and often drop out. The challenges candidates face require them to be fast and strong, such as running 2.4 kilometers in 9 minutes and push-ups with a 20 kilograms body armor. However, good physical condition alone is not enough. CIAT agents must also have nerves of steel and be proficient in using heavy weapons. They must undergo pressure tests to test their willpower, followed by shooting training, which includes a particularly difficult test where candidates must sprint at full speed for 400m, then pick up a gun and hit the target or rotate a dumbbell. Medical support is provided at all times to ensure handling of any situation. All medical treatment expenses are fully covered. The White House also has its own clinic with state-of-the-art medical equipment and military doctors. If a president serves for five years or more, they will receive priority health benefits and use veteran hospitals with 75% of health care costs covered by the budget. Presidents and their immediate families are symbols of the United States. And their legacies are preserved after their death. When a family member of a president dies, they receive a state funeral, specifically for former heads of state. A state funeral can last from 7 to 10 days with full national ceremonies. Although the privileges mentioned above are not the entire extent of what the President of the United States enjoys during their term, with a six-figure salary, presidents must work extremely hard. Occasionally, you may see presidents playing golf or vacationing somewhere during the summer, but they still go with aides, security advisors, and have to work outside the White House. In addition to the privileges mentioned above, the President of the United States is not entitled to take any days off throughout the year. These were the top privileges for the President of the United States. I hope the information provided above gives you a clearer understanding of the luxury and top-notch security exclusively reserved for the leader of the world superpower. What do you think about today's topic? Feel free to leave a comment below. Once again, thank you for tuning in to the Upper Class Program, where we aspire to turn dreams into reality. Goodbye and see you again.